Sponsor, welcome back to Shacey Tarot. For those of you returning and for those of you brand new, welcome to our channel. We appreciate each and one of you very, very much. And I'm going to do a general reading, but I'm going to use the fairy cards today. Okay, so this is this is tarot. I'm using tarot, but I'm also going to use some oracle cards as well. And I'm going to get the Shacey Prism tarot cards here for the mutual energies between you and your person or whomever you're thinking about. If you're completely single, then this may play out from your perspective. Okay, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Remember, it is a general read, so not everything's gonna resonate. Things certainly won't resonate maybe today, but they might in three months or six months. I've had many clients return to me and tell me at the time it didn't resonate and come back three, six months later and send me an email or send me a message and, and that just, that makes my day. So if that happens to you, do let me know. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So. You know, this is intended as a love reading, but I will try to read it for those of you that are single as well. I try to look at every perspective when I am looking at the cards, okay? I'm still doing the Healing Stone Bracelet giveaway for those of you that are brand new. I just gave away three this month. You can check in the bracelet giveaway. There is a playlist for that if you're interested. They're absolutely free. I hand make them. Six inch to seven three quarter. If you're one of the lucky three winners each month, then you get to choose your charm and your size. All the stones are handpicked by me and the reason why I picked the stones was I found I needed three or four bracelets to make up one of the quality uh, healing stone bracelets that I'm providing and again it's free I pay shipping and everything it's just my way of saying thank you and giving back to you and thanking you so much for subscribing and liking and sharing the videos okay it really does mean a lot it really does help the channel to grow and my girls and I truly appreciate it so the comments in the comment section it will be pinned down below on how you can get in on that and that's all you need to do is subscribe it's free like this video Go ahead and like the Facebook page or leave a recommendation or Instagram, whichever you prefer. It's just that I am mostly on Facebook. Let's get started. So this can definitely play out from your perspective. This can play out from your love interest perspective. I generally pick up the energy of someone very close to you. Okay, let's get started. For April, please, 2020, what does Cancer need to know for their highest good, please, spirits? For April 2020, what are the messages? What are the messages? That's, uh, sometimes I'll take those, but that was a bit too many. For Cancer, yeah, please, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Check your Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Sometimes, you know, my Moon is in Cancer. This may totally resonate for me. So, yeah, check your Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, because sometimes you can get some messages from your Sun sign, some from your Moon sign, and you're all going to be different. Wow, way to start your reading. You got the star card. This is a major arcana for those of you that are unfamiliar. The star card is about wishes and hopes and looking toward the future with optimism and encouragement and feeling hopeful. This can also be destined to be with a soulmate. I'll go ahead and read it for you. Look to the future with hope and optimism, the power of faith to move mountains, happy changes that will bring relief from challenging times. So if you've been through a recent challenge or challenges in your life, spirit is saying, you know, you can look forward to the future with hopes and dreams coming true. And it's all uphill from here. Whatever you've been through that, put the past behind Behind you because beautiful things are coming towards you and it's 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 a brighter future and you know you can see that's why it's called the star you could be dealing with an Aquarius but we're gonna keep going and if that's not you it could be the person that you're thinking about okay clarify the star card here please for cancer Sun Moon rising and Venus clarify the star card for cancer Sun Moon rising and Venus please why is the star card here for cancer Sun Moon rising and Venus Oop. <laughs> too many cards you know I'll never understand why they make them so huge but I do have to tell you that lately all the cards have been flying out especially in Scorpio's readings powerful 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 reading um, for those of you that know Scorpio's the, the cards were continually flying on this on the floor and it didn't matter which deck I used it's just spirit is kind of like take it take it take it and it's like wow so let's see how we can get going tonight now they're getting stuck they're just wow amazing I am tired though I have to say you know I'm homeschooling my girls so you'll have to forgive me if my shuffling is a bit off today the star card please as I was saying Sorry about that, Cancer. This has just been a very long day. Star card. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Wow. Princess of Spring. Okay. So it's time to go after your dreams. Do something that expands your horizons and let your creativity take flight. This is all about taking charge of your life. 
This can be a Leo Sagittarius or Aries in your life, but this is someone that is driven, passionate, a go-getter. Sometimes can be really, really feisty, but this could be you taking on the energy of your healing, you know, you're going towards the future, it's looking brighter, you've been through a lot, and now you're ready to take charge, you're enthusiastic, you're optimistic around the future, and if you're not yet, I feel that you will be, you know, that um, there's happier uh, days coming towards you. This, this is about happy changes, this is about moving forward with progress, with um, a vigor for life, almost like a renewed vigor for life, okay? Let's keep going here. Or it could just be simply that you're dealing with an Aquarius, Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries. Why Why is this princess... Jeez. Why is this princess of spring here? Just one or two cards, please, spirits. One or two cards. Thank you. See? <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Prince of spring. Wow. This is incredible. Immediate action. A challenge you can successfully manage. A passionate relationship. You might be definitely dealing with a fire sign that is on your level, okay? This can be somebody that's passionate towards you and feels that you are their destiny as well because a star can sometimes indicate that you are destined to be with a soulmate, that you are moving towards your destiny again, towards your hopes, wishes, and dreams coming true. And it can involve a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or again, you know, an Aquarius here. But, you know, this is sometimes somebody that can come into your life as fast as they go out. So if you're, you know, dating, um, this could just be somebody that is just really kind of a fiery type of person, a younger energy. Um, this could be anybody around you, though. Let's keep going. Who is this Prince of Spring, please, for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Who is this Prince of Spring? Eight of winter. Okay, somebody may be feeling a little bit stuck here, though. You know, this is somebody that kind of feels like they're a little bit trapped right now. So somebody could be feeling kind of restless right now. They have all this passionate pent-up energy, but somebody is kind of, you know, in the wishing and hoping stage. They're looking forward. They're optimistic. They're dying to move forward. They're passionate. They're, they're starting to get their mojo back, but at the same time, they're stuck. So I feel like it's a little bit like they're getting their mojo back, you or your person, whomever you're thinking about, but also feeling a little mentally stuck, okay, um, for whatever reason. And we're going to keep going. We'll find out what it is. But this has you have what it takes if only you believe in yourself, thinking that you're powerless when you are not. A lack of self-confidence that keeps you from getting what you want. So this could be a lack of self-confidence on your part kind of like, I've got my mojo back, I want this, I want that, you know, I want my wishes, my hopes, my dreams to come true. Um, I'm healing right now, I realize what my destiny is, but wait, you know, um, I don't, I, I lack the self-confidence to kind of move forward. I know I want to, I know I'm excited about it, I know I have this new beginning coming, but at the same time, I'm not quite confident to step out all the way here. This is somebody holding themselves back because quite, you know, quite honestly, they could move forward if they wanted to. They're choosing not to because they're mentally stuck. They're, they they got to have a boost to their confidence here. But yet, there's somebody's driven. This could be two people. You know, one of you may be, feel stuck. The other one's very driven. It could, I could definitely be picking up the energy of both of you. Three of winter. There you go. Three of swords. Somebody's heartbroken right now. They're healing. There you go. And it can involve a third party situation. Doesn't have to be third party. It can be anything, family, friends. It can be a job that's holding you back. You know, um, somebody could be focused on money. But this again is Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini now. So this is reach out to others for comfort and love. You will grow stronger from the situation and sadness will heal with time. And that's what this is all is. That's what the star card is. Again, somebody, you know, is is healing. Somebody is getting this renewed passion, but it's going to take time because there was some heartbreak here. So they are driven. They're passionate, you know, uh, but at the same time, they're just mentally have this kind of block right now in their mind. It's a mental block because 
uh, and again that could be you because I want to move forward but right now I'm just I'm kind of just tiptoeing I don't have the confidence quite yet I'm just getting my mojo back but it's not back 100% I want to say is how I'm feeling let's get some mutual energies between you and your person again if this isn't a person you're dealing with then this is definitely you healing after a difficult period of time and just building your self-confidence up that could be for cancer sun moon rising and venus please and their person of interest wow flying out you could be dealing with an earth sign or this could be you focusing on your stability your coins your money your stability here okay earth energy taurus virgo capricorn might be significant to you for cancer sun moon rising and venus please april 2020 now for those of you this is resonating for i'm going to continue your reading over on vimeo for those of you that are brand new i always continue the reading on vimeo for plus or minus 15 minutes okay and if that if this resonates for you that may be all you want okay because it's a general reading if it fits if it you know resonates it's a lot less expensive than a personal reading but that might be all you want and definitely i mean if you want a personal reading i welcome that and if you're a repeat client i have a lot of repeat clients that come 30 to 60 every 30 to 60 days if they feel the necess necessity to do so i have a vic coupon code which means very important clients so uh, if you become a repeat client, definitely you can take advantage of that. Let's keep going here. All right. Wow. A message of truth and clarity is coming for you. Okay. So whatever is going on, you're gaining the clarity. You're healing. You're gaining the clarity of what is going on. This can also be like, you know, like it's an epiphany. It's a brand new start. This is a healing period and then this brand new start. You're, you're, the fog is lifting for you again. It's regaining your self-confidence after going through a very a challenging time in your life and you're regaining your confidence again. And uh, it's becoming very clear. This could be that somebody wants to speak the truth to you as well. Okay, and it can be a fire sign or an earth sign. Uh or an air sign. I have all three here. They may have all three in their chart, or you may have some of this in your chart as well. Why is a truth message clarity here, please? For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for April 2020. I also want to mention, which I forgot, in the extended, if you decide to go over Vimeo, I always uh, pull oracle cards i'm going to pull the goddess guidance card get any universe messages for you that are necessary i'm going to go through the 1970s deck as well these are 50 years old i'm going to do some clarification sometimes we can get doubles and i will see if we even get triple clarification using traditional tarot here and i'm definitely going to do the angel answer cards for you so you ask the universe spirits a question i'm going to place three cards you're going to pick a card to get your answer Okay, and during this reading, for the general read, I'm also going to pull some of the Moonology cards. Okay, next one out, Water Energy. Wow, there you are, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, yeah. So this can be about, you know, I feel a lot, you feel a lot of love for one another, for those of you that are thinking about somebody, and I'm thinking about stability, I'm thinking about, you know, I have a lot of love here, I'm gaining clarity here in a relationship. I'm feeling passionate about the beginning, but I'm not actually seeing a relationship here yet as such. Okay, I'm seeing that somebody is healing and I'm seeing that they're gaining, they're trying to gain their self-confidence back here, but they're a bit restless because they're still healing. They're not quite ready to get out there is what I'm seeing. Could be you, could be your person. Okay, for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, one more please. One more card please for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What are the messages they need to hear? In this, in the extended, I will concentrate mostly on May 2020. We're going to sneak peek into May. And I'm also going to pull some fortune cards as well if I get a chance. And the true love cards. They are gorgeous. They are very in-depth. I'm going to read that to you as well in the extended if you choose to go there. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Whoa, run it out. Oh, wow, look at that. Magician. So you're trying to manifest. You're trying to manifest maybe your self-confidence back. Maybe you're trying to manifest a new job, a relationship. This is the universe telling you that you have everything within your power 
to get out of this stuck energy, you or your person, okay? You can do anything. Take charge of your life. You can manifest what you need to do to be a success. Absolutely you can. All right, let's go ahead and pull a couple of the Moonology cards for you. I'm going to do the pick a card for the Moonology. So the first card you pick is the strongest message you're meant to hear, the second your second, and your third your third. But you are meant to hear all three messages, okay? All right, for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please, spirits, three cards for April 2020. Whoa, as I was saying, they love to go flying on the floor today. So now, now the energy's getting hot, which means extended is going to be even hotter, I bet. Okay, sorry about that, Cancer, but this is what happens when spirit insists that I take cards. And it's been happening all day. And it's happening again. Show the world the real you. Show the world the real you. I'm showing you this one up front, okay? And then we're going to place a couple more. Okay, I'm going to lay the other one down. Two more, please. Whew, show the world the real you. They, the world, the universe wants you to show your self-confidence. Have self-confidence in yourself, okay? That's exactly what's going on here. That's what I'm feeling. For Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please, Spirits, for April 2020. Just one or two, please, Spirits. One or two, please, Spirits. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <laughs> it's just really... Okay, I'll take them. Okay. I'm going to pull the other ones out in the extended because they're obviously meant to come out for you, but I want to have enough time to do everything. Okay. So we'll dig really deep. Don't worry. We'll dig in that extended really, really deep. One, two, three. So remember, you're meant to hear all the messages. Are you ready? Okay, let's pull number one. If you chose number one, hold your vision. Spirit is telling you that whatever your hopes, wishes, and dreams are, the star card is here. Have the self-confidence to go after what you want and hold on to that vision. You can manifest. You have the magician. You have the star card. You have what it takes to continue to move forward, you just need to build on that self-confidence is what I'm feeling if you chose number two. Your hard work is paying off, you see? All of the tools and all of the resources that you're using within your power is going to pay off. Do not give up, do not give up, do not give up. That is what I'm saying here. Okay, there's another one that was meant for the extended. Okay, for number three. Meditate and contemplate. Meditate and contemplate. Wow. Yeah. So meditate. You are the magician right now. You can do whatever you want. You just have to put the effort in and make sure you show the world the real you because, okay, law of attraction, you're going to attract what you put out there. So if you're not putting out your authentic self, you are not going to attract the one that you want. If you're looking for love, you won't attract the job or the career or the new business if you don't put out the energy that you're expecting back, right? That is beautiful. This is awesome. I love this for you. This is really terrific, okay? I'm going to try and see if these will stay there, but who knows? Let me put that, see if I can get that to stay. Okay, let's keep going here, and then we're going to head over to the extended. I want just a couple more of the mutual energies, please, spirits, for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The mutual energies. What does Cancer... Wow, here we go. Oh, I can't make this up. The magician again. You are both manifesting. If you're thinking about somebody, you are both manifesting. If this is just you, then this is just you. Hold your vision. Manifest. You can do whatever you want to make your life a success. You have the star card here. Once you are through this challenging period completely and you have healed and you regain your confidence, you're going to be able to manifest whatever you want. Love, stability here, uh, clarity moving forward here. The, the path is going to be clear as long as you are your authentic self. Your hard work is paying off. Meditate. You can, you can hold your vision, meditate, and go after what it is you want. That's what I'm seeing here. We are going to see which direction you're going from here. Is this about love? Is this about career? Is this about just overall gaining your self-confidence back in order to attract what it is you want in your life? We're going to definitely find out where we're headed here. What are you manifesting here? You or your person here? Okay, what is this vision for you or for them? 
We're going to find out. I thank you so much, Cancer, for being here. I hope you're staying happy and healthy and safe. For those of you leaving me now, I will see you next time. Don't leave the channel without subscribing. It's free. Like this video. It definitely helps it to circulate and others to hear the messages. And honestly, if it's helping giving you some guidance, let's help lift each other up and help others to see these messages. And that's all you need to do to be able to accomplish that. Hit the notification bell if you'd like future messages from me. Notification of the bracelet giveaway that's uh, definitely down in the uh, description and the comment box as well as the Vimeo extended link for this so if you're meeting me over at Vimeo I will be right there and for those of you seeing me next time I'll see you in a few days or so namaste